नमो तस् भगवतो अरहतो सम्मास नमो बुद्धाय नमो दामाय नमो संगाय रेस्पेक्टेड वेरेवर मेम्बर्स ऑफ द महासंग रेस्पेक्टेड बंते शिलंकर the resident monk cam religious advisor of sekyai all our patrons and trustee of sekyai members of the board of management members and devotees of sekyai fellow buddhists brothers and sisters in the dharma suki hotu 100 years ago In the year 1920, the seed of Sekiyai was planted by a group of straight-born, also known as Pranakan, who were keen to learn the Buddha's teaching, the Dharma. Little did we know that in the same year, the Spanish flu was killing millions of people and bringing untold miseries and suffering. to hundreds of millions of people infected by the virus the year 2020 is 100 years when sekiyai was first formed sometime towards the second half of 2019 we were all very excited planning and lining up numerous grand events and activities to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the establishment of Sekiyai Melaka this year 2020 however never in our mind that history would repeat to repeat itself the world is now fighting covid-19 pandemic 100 years after the spanish flu unsettling the norm that we have enjoyed and most of us have taken for granted the outbreak of covid-19 pandemic and the catastrophic global effect causing thousands of deaths is still very active and widespread bringing untold pain and misery to the hundreds of thousands of people all over the world has completely derailed our plans in compliance to MCO implemented by the government and with the dharma as our guiding light we acted swiftly and responsibly and decided to cancel or defer the various activities planned for the centennial celebration including the grand vesai procession and the centennial day celebration vesai day celebration I seek forgiveness and humbly apologize for what has happened. We are even doubtful that the scheduled date for the Centennial Anniversary Dinner on the 28th of November 2020 might not be able to go ahead. We will keep you updated from time to time on the latest status of the activities deferred and our next course of action. I call upon everyone to remain strong, keep ourselves safe and healthy, and like it is quoted time and again, this too will pass. MCO was first implemented on 18 March 2020. All temple activities came to a standstill. Nevertheless, nevertheless, with the help of IT using whatever relevant platforms we fully utilize the online facilities to reach out and continue to propagate the dharma and thanks to bante silalankara who conducted the wednesday saturday and sunday puja online my sincere appreciation to the members for using their initiatives and expertise to make the online broadcast possible 
Vesak Day is a day to commemorate the birth, the enlightenment, and the Parnibbana of Lord Buddha. It is one of the most significant events in the Buddhist calendar. Without fail, every year, Sekiyangi has been organizing the Vesa'i procession around the historical city of Malacca, attracting thousands of members and devotees to the temple, apart from the many thousands lining up along the procession routes. On the Vesa'i day, many more would come to the temple to perform their religious duty. Unfortunately, as the nation is still under MCO, it is most unfortunate that we cannot gather in the temple to usher in the Vesak Day and celebrate this year's Vesak celebration. However, with our spirit and thought intact and remain strong, on this year's Vesak Day, I call upon everyone to radiate loving kindness and compassion from the home to all sanctioned beings to be free from harm and danger. Even though you are not with us physically here, I can feel that your thought and spirit are with us at the very moment. May this year's Vesak Day bring upon great forces to help end the COVID-19 pandemic as soon as possible. To those serving as frontliners in the various medical and supporting centers, may they be free from harm and danger. May those who are suffering from COVID-19 gain enough strength and confidence to recover from the infection as soon as possible. To those who have passed away from the dreadful pandemic, may they be free from pain and suffering. May they attain the final bliss of Nirvana. It is with much regret and deeper sadness that we have lost a likable and lovable member of the Sikyangi family after a hard-fought battle against the coronavirus for 50 days, our brother finally succumbed to the deadly virus. May he be free from pain and suffering. May he attain his final bliss of nirvana as soon as possible. Our deepest sympathy and condolence to his wife and children for the untimely loss of a loving husband and father. May they continue to be strong be calm, and let Dhamma be the guiding light, as it has always been. Let me also take this opportunity to express our deepest appreciation to the King, Duli Yang Dipertuan Agong, and the government for keeping and maintaining peace and harmony to the country. And also, let me take this opportunity to express my gratitude and sincere appreciation to all the members of the Maha Sangha, the patrons and the trustees, members of the Board of Management, members, devotees, and members of the public for their selfless services, advice, contributions, and donations to Sekiyangi. May you be blessed with longevity, beauty, happiness, and strength. Ayu wano sukang balang. My sincere greetings and appreciation to all the members of the other Buddhist organization and chapters who have participated and supported the various activities Sekiyangi have organized in the past. May we continue and keep on improving the good relation and interaction that we have enjoyed, and may we grow from strength to strength. The Buddha has left behind volumes and volumes of his profound teachings found in the Tipitaka, compiled into three parts or basket, comprising of Sutta Pitaka, the basket of discourse, Vinaya Pitaka, the basket of discipline, the Abhidhamma Pitaka, basket of special 
of further doctrine. Vesa is a day to reflect on the thought and teaching of the Buddha. It is a day for lay Buddhists to reflect on the very essence of the teaching of Lord Buddha. The first is to realize on the three phenomena of, or characteristics of existence, of anicca, impermanence, anatta, non-self, and dukkha, suffering. The Buddha pointed out that all component things are impermanent. They will decay and disintegrate over time, resulting in dukkha. Once we can have a better understanding of the very nature of this existence, we will accept the pain and suffering around us is inevitable and will bring upon less pain and anguish. Another reminder to what is happening now is to have a clear understanding of the true nature of life, the Four Noble Truths expounded by the Buddha that there is suffering in life, there is a cause of the suffering, there is cessation of the suffering, and there is a way to end suffering. That is the Noble Eightfold Path of right understanding of view, right thought or intention, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration or stillness. COVID-19 pandemic, even though has and is still bringing untold misery to the human beings all over the world, there is a very clear message to us all. It brings us to ponder and to have better and deeper understanding on the Buddha's doctrine of Paticca Samuppada, the doctrine of dependent origination, and also on the principle of cause and effect. Nature is telling us something and is sending out a warning to us not to get careless and need for us to realize that things are the way they are because we coexist. Prior to the pandemic, the world was going in top gear, chasing every aspect of material development at the expense to the climate, the environment, and the very nature of this human life. Rivers and seas were heavily polluted. The sky was choked with smoke, and the air was so polluted that many have to wear masks to protect, to protect themselves from breathing the smoke or poisonous air. Suddenly, a reversal role is taking place. Human beings are wearing masks to protect themselves from COVID-19 virus. But the rivers and the seas are beginning to have clear water. The sky is clear with, sun, with the sun shining down brightly on us. Another very important message of the Buddha is to overcome suffering by doing good, avoid evil, and purify the mind, and attain enlightenment which is attainable in the very life if we put enough effort to do so. Let us learn and take a deeper and penetrative understanding of the Dharma. Practice the Dharma with diligence and wisdom and liberate ourselves from the cycle of birth and death. It is the ultimate goal for us as the Buddha himself walked the path to liberation, eradication of suffering, Nibbana. Having said all that, today is Vesak Day. Vesa is a day to reflect on the thought and teachings of Lord Buddha. It is also a day to rejoice and celebrate. It is a day that reminds us of the three significant events of Lord Buddha, the birth, the enlightenment, and the Parinibbana of Lord Buddha. Let us rejoice and celebrate by mindfully radiating kind thought and loving kindness to all sanctioned beings, and that peace, harmony, and happiness will soon return, allowing us to lead a normal life of freedom and purpose. 
let us also take this moment to radiate our thought to our loved ones who have passed away and to those who have served the temple, members of the Sangha, trustees, patrons, members of the board of management, and members of Sekiyai who have passed away, and those who have passed away whose ashes and tablets are enshrined in the SKE columbarium. May they be free from pain and sorrow. May they attain the final bliss of Lidbana. Let me take this opportunity to wish each and every one a peaceful and joyful Vesak. Happy Vesak, Sabbe Sata Bawantu Sukitata. May you all be well and happy always. Sukihotu, Sadu, Sadu, Sadu. Please come back live, Dana, at 11.15 a.m. Thank you very much. <laughs>